In news from Pakistan, doctors at makeshift hospitals treating flood victims in Pakistan have said they are seeing more cases of patients suffering from waterborne diseases as well as malaria as water levels show no sign of receding. The death toll due to natural calamity reached nearly 1,500 on Thursday. Doctors at makeshift hospitals treating Pakistan's flood evacuees have said they are seeing more cases of patients suffering from waterborne diseases as well as malaria as water levels show no sign of receding, with hundreds living in tents, hygiene and sanitation are also being challenged. A resident at the camp located in the grounds of a school in a hard-hit southern Sindh province said the water being supplied through tankers was not clean but there was little that they could do about this. और खाने पीने की जैसे दूसरी अशिया हैं लोग बहुत ज़्यादा इस्तेमाल कर लेते हैं गर्मी बहुत ज़्यादा है तो उल्टी और मोशन के जो केसेस हैं वो भी बहुत ज़्यादा सामने आ रहे हैं और जैसे कि सीजन है नज़ला खांसी का तो नज़ले खांसी के मरीज़ भी बहुत ज़्यादा सामने आ रहे हैं since Health Minister Azra Fazal Pechuho said a total of 856,000 patients had been treated since the floods began, mostly at mobile hospitals, because more than 1,200 health facilities were underwater. Conditions including dysentery, diarrhea, malaria, skin diseases and dengue fever are already widespread, she said. <laughs> हम इधर आ गए और इधर जो पानी मिल रहा है वो साफ सुथरा नहीं है टैंकर का पानी होता है बच्चे पीते हैं बच्चे बीमार हो जाते हैं और ने कोई जो टेपस में बीमार में मतलब हो जाते हैं खारिश वगैरह हो जाती है और नज़ला जो काम और जैसे दूसरे बीमारियों में चमड़ियों में मुतला हो जाते हैं खारिश की वजह से इधर कोई भी पानी पीने की मना कोई भी इंतज़ाम नहीं है the floods from record monsoon rains and glacier melt in the mountainous north have affected 33 million people across Pakistan and killed over 1,480 washing away homes, roads, railways, livestock and crops in damage estimated at 30 billion US dollars. <laughs>